Hey, what's up guys? Meal Skull here. Welcome to Rivals of Aether. Um, this game just got released. It was in early access um, for a long time. <laughs> I've got some hours in. Uh, about seven hours in early access. I put it down so that I could play with you guys someday. So, here we are. Release. Um, lots of game modes that I haven't played yet. Uh, when I played it was eight characters and pretty much just 1v1 for the most part. So yeah, um, the thing I'm most interested in is the story mode. I think we're gonna do that. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's start. So there's six characters in the story mode, looks like. We have to pick one of these. Man, and you know what? I really, really... Before I even start that... <laughs> I gotta bring this down a couple notches, because... It is killing me. I don't know about you guys. That'll be okay. Because, yeah, I'm playing on a gamepad, too. This is the first time I've YouTubed anything on a gamepad. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm kind of a fighting game buff. I, I really like fighting games. I'm just terrible at them, so I usually don't YouTube them, but I'll make an exception for this one. Oh, let's see here. So if you don't know what Rivals Av Aether is, it's kind of a... It's smashy. It's uh, pro probably inspired by games like uh, Smash, Smash Melee, specifically. Uh, we get to pick a character here. I think we'll start at the top left. Um, my favorite character is Orcane, so we'll save that one for a bit. Let's do Crag, Treetop Village. Uh, let's start. Crag's life is slow and meditati meditative. His people, the Wall Builders, devote their entire lives to maintaining the Great Rock Wall. They alone wield the power to manipulate great masses of stone. Wall builders are born on the wall and will circle the whole Aetherian forest three times during their lifetimes, never setting foot on the ground below. Ooh, Crag vs. Zetterburn. I'm so excited for this, guys. <laughs> okay, let's hope I'm not as terrible as I think I am. Man, this guy's a pushover. So yeah, it's very, very much like Smash, if you guys can't tell. Um, melee, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> Um, there's some differences. I do like the characters in this. Um, I don't know a lot about them lore-wise because this is my first time playing story mode, so... Well, that's how you win. Oh, 55 seconds. Ouch. That's alright. Ah, cool. So you can actually get medals for the quicker you go. I like that. One day, Crag comes up upon a huge breach in the northern wall. He has never seen such destruction, and he fears what threat might have entered the forest. Oh, cool. Get to fight against my favorite character. But bye bye. Thirty five seconds. Woo 
Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay, it gives you medals depending on how... Okay, that's cool. Oh, and the total time, I like it. Now I understand. Man, so you can really, really grind down the times on this. Uh, Craig summons the rocks to begin repairing the wounded wall. A laborious process. He must heal it quickly to protect the precious Aetherian forest from outside threats. Suddenly, the unthinkable happens. Craig is attacked from inside the wall. Forest burn. This character is pretty cool. He can, like, clone himself. And he creates, like, smoke screens and... Ah, oh, he's pretty awesome. Usually I try to... Get him up high. It's part of the strategy that I try to play. Oh, man, I'm in 138 already. I might lose this one. Maybe if I can get a gimp, that would be. Yup. Oh, really? I didn't expect him to come back from that. Dang, this guy is persistent. Bye bye. I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> I haven't played this in a bit. Uh, I got a little practice before I started, but. Before I started recording, I don't want to embarrass myself too bad. Craig's rock-bound mind uh, can barely process what he sees. The Great Wall was made to protect the treetop dwellers, but now one of them is mounting an assault from within. I really don't like playing Raster. He He's interesting. I know people who are really good at him, but... I'm terrible with him. Oh, do I? Okay, I have three lives total. I see. Oh, that was a save. I can't make it back up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uppercut. Ah, oh, man. He's just getting me. Oh, man. Bye bye. So, yeah, I get three lives total, and they get one. That's pretty interesting. That, that's really bad, isn't it? It looks like it's made out of cardboard, that metal. Or like... I don't know. Old... Metal. <laughs> like, they just found a piece on the ground and like, traced AE on it. That's pretty bad, really. Outraged, Craig steps down off the wall for the first time in his life to confront this treetop trader, Maypole, vigilante of the forest. Meanwhile, bystanders gather. The treetop dwellers see only Crag trespassing on the forest floor to attack one of their own. Outraged, they vow retaliation on their former allies, the wall builders. Oh man. So Maple started it. Crag steps down to confront him. It's interesting. Oh, plot thickens. Now, Maple is tough with Craig because he's super fast. I always have a problem with him. And he has some interesting, like, binding moves. Man, get up here. I missed it. Oh, 
gotcha. Oh! Come on, get it. Ah. There we go. Oh, okay, he gets more than one life this time. This must be the boss fight. That was a risk. Ah, oh, turd. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. I love that screen for game over. Plus a minute on time. Okay. So this is really, really... The, the story mode's interesting. Gives you a time... Like a time trial, kind of. This should be okay with three lives, honestly. Oh no. <laughs> if you guys don't know what happened there, I pillared. Come on, come on. Bye-bye. Get out already! Oh my gosh. Well, I thought it was gonna be easy. Easy, but... Ah, oh, man. lives down. What was that my first? I think that was my first. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I got an a minute added on. Not bad for a first run, I think. This is my first time playing story, so I dig it. The artwork. I love the fighting. We didn't have a story before when I played. Um, to Craig's amazement, the purple treetop dweller vanishes. Uh, May Reed, younger sister of Maypole, approaches and drops a letter to the forest floor. The letter explains that the shadowy warrior couldn't have been the real Maypole because she left moons ago to find the source of the strange purple disease in the forest. Craig realizes that the only way to protect his beloved wall and forest is to leave them. May Reed sends Lily with Crag to help him track down Maypole on her quest. That's pretty cool. I dig it. So yeah, there's um, there's the record to beat, guys. If you guys are looking for this game. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, we'll do these one episode at a time. I don't plan on this series lasting forever, so. So yeah, um, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, different game on the channel. Totally different genre. But yeah, leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!